You know, it's bad when you have dumb shit. When I'm full of breath, then be full of red rum. Welcome to that Rick. You already know it's your girl Payday and everybody loves Payday like the first in the motherfucking feasting. Before y'all get comfortable, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay? But I'm usually on here putting y'all in that rec business, but on this one, I'm going to be putting y'all in that industry business, okay? Or should I say that cringe industry business? Because the industry is fucking cringe as fuck right now, but let's get into it. So in this video, we will be listening to a rapper that goes by the name JT the Bigger Figure. He is a rapper from the Bay Area. Um, He came out a while ago telling the story or inside story of what happened between um wife and lucci and young thug and birdman and rich homie kwan and big nut and a whole bunch of other people the video is not super duper new but i feel like a whole lot of people missed it because it didn't get like a whole lot of attention so we're gonna go back through it since especially since it's relevant right now okay Again, so this is his inside story of what happened, how, and why. So let's just hear what he had to say. Also, before I get started, I would like to create in my source. This particular video came from b.clay.thoughts. So feel free to look him up and check his page out. Want your mama mad, nigga, and sad because of me. Because that right there, it going to get a nigga some time. It might not be this year. That shit happened with net. Nigga, in 2015, 2015, nigga, all these years later, this nigga thug is paying for it. The streets already knew. Now the world know. And this is facts. Whether he win or lose, that ain't in, that ain't up to me. That's up to God, the judge, the jury, the DA, and his lawyers. You hear me? But I made a post a few minutes ago about you niggas keep leaving comments like why you posting thug i thought you fuck with net nigga me net and thug was all together nigga before me and net came together me and thug came together but me and net have was already you know networking but nigga i'm not no crip or no blood you know what i mean and 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 and, and then birdman came to town and then birdman put up the money for that lifestyle song in the video with him and Rich Gang, new Rich Gang started. Nut was fucking with Quan. But he was cool with Thug. But he had power over Quan. And then disputes came. Once the disputes came, it wasn't good business no more. The hate and the jealousy. Birdman won't Thug, I mean, won't Quan, nigga, to, to bow down, nigga, and come up under the Rich Gang. And Net was like, no, nigga, you was not finna sign that 360 deal ass shit, nigga, and be a broke rapper up under Birdman. Sorry about that. True story. So what did that leave me at? Nigga, I, I chose sides with Net. Nigga, but before the murder, I was the nigga that was still with Birdman and Thug that could tell Net. This was happening over here. And that bitch ass nigga Pee Wee, nigga start hating. Cause nigga, I put up all the money, nigga. While 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 Doug was up under burn, up under the rich gang, nigga, he accepted my racks, nigga. My thirty bands, nigga. We did seven songs, nigga, and did some video footage, nigga, photo shoots and shit. But before I could drop it, the murder happened. Now the beef is on, nigga. So I know, nigga, I was in the middle of this shit. The next day, when Nut got killed on the fifteenth, on the sixteenth in the morning at eight a.m. I was the first nigga at Nut Mama house. And she grabbed me, said they killed my baby, nigga, and pulled me on her bed, nigga, and held me like a fucking kid, crying that they killed her son. Nigga, don't play with me, nigga. My thoroughbred uh, 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 footsteps in this shit, nigga, is thorough. So when I see them little comments, I just said, let me talk to all of them niggas. Because can't know a nigga, no nigga in Atlanta tell me nothing. <coughs> No nigga in no state could tell me nothing. See, when you depend on niggas, that's when they can control you. When you ask a gang or a block to help you, defend you, that's when nigga got say so. Can't no nigga in Atlanta say they shot for me, punched a nigga for me, helped me with none of my smoke. Nigga, I handled that shit for years by myself. So that's the facts. 
That's why I still go there, nigga. You can't, you can't find no niggas that's shitting on me out there. They might get start. But nigga, how you gonna shit on me? Nigga, you niggas ain't robbed me. See, I like that part. I love it. Yeah, I got these wounds to prove it, nigga. Nigga, I ain't let no nigga rob me, nigga. You might rob them other Cali niggas coming out there. Nigga, didn't rob JT, though, nigga. Bay Area nigga, a little different. We trained to go solo missions. We trained to go, don't ask no nigga for no help. That's what I learned in the Bay Area, San Francisco, feel more war that was going on. Don't ask for no shooter, do it yourself. Don't pay no nigga to shoot for you, do it yourself. Shout out to my OGs told me that. You know the nigga you pay. <laughs> the nigga that could take your ass out later. So we heard what he had to say. And in my opinion, I feel like he was explaining um, a lot of the gang culture and how this was all gang related. That's in my opinion. Mixed in with some industry shit. Um, like I said, that's just my opinion. It's really unfortunate that... Um, he was talking about the gang lifestyle, and now Young Thug is being accused of his record label being tied to the gang lifestyle. Um, it's interesting, but y'all comment below. Before y'all leave, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. That's what we do down here. Here. Full of dumb blunts, jiggas, and beer. Here. Yeah.